Hey, hey, it's me, Markel's World, all things professional wrestling in my life. If you're on YouTube, if you're on TikTok, follow, subscribe. Let's talk about it. It's Wednesday. Again, I post three times a week. AEW Day. Let's talk about it. Kevin Kelly. Kevin Kelly. Yes, I think we talked about him a couple months ago on how he was let go or he was released. I forgot what happened. But now we have an update. Kevin Kelly says he's suing. AEW talks Tony Khan and backstage morale. This is on CaveSideSeats.com. Like to give credit where it's due. What you're hearing is the AC. It is hot. It is hot in Michigan. So let's read it. On multiple occasions now, former AEW collision announcer Kevin Kelly has documented how he believes he was libeled by his old colleague, Ring of Honor play-by-play -play commentator Ian Rissapani, as one of those instances reportedly led to his firing. Okay, he was fired. Kelly now says he's filing a lawsuit against Tony Khan's company. Okay, so he's really pissed off. I guess he was lied on, he feels like. It cost him his job. He's losing wages, so I do understand where he's coming from why he's upset so let's keep going i mean he lost wages you know so that does come with a um a lawsuit you know if you lose wages how far it's gonna go not sure kelly said of course he would sue aew when asked about it during his appearance on eric bishop's wise choice podcast he then went on to have a conversation with one of the company's most vocal critics about what he saw behind the scenes during his brief time with AEW. Bischoff admits that he didn't spend much time backstage during his two appearances on Diamond Night back in 2020. So he's basically saying, keep me out of this shit, Bischoff. I, I was only there a couple times, two times. I didn't go back there, so I ain't gonna talk shit. That's basically what they're kind of summarizing to. Um, then asked Kelly to tell him if he's right or wrong in thinking that Tony Khan has no understanding at all of creativity, has no understanding at all of television production, has no understanding at all on how to format a show. The former WCW and New Japan announcer replied, he's got good people around him that he doesn't utilize. His vision of what wrestling is for me works best on a small scale. People always wonder, why did PWG stay small? Well, they knew, I think they knew if they went big, it would go stale fast. He wants to appeal to a niche audience with his vision wrestling, but he thinks he can convince the people to watch on a grand scale. The other thing he's done, he's made himself the face of the company. He's the one going now on TV interview. It's like, man, that's not his skill set. So basically, you know, not dogging, but he's saying, I guess, Tony Khan is kind of taking the spotlight and it's the face of the company. When I think about AEW, I think about Tony, um, Tony Storm. I got them mixed up. Tony Storm. I think of Timeless Tony Storm. I think of Britt Baker. I think of Sammy Guevara. I think of MJF. I don't really think about Tony Khan. I do know that he runs the company, so he is in the back of my mind. But when I think the face of AEW... Tony Khan isn't someone that I think of right away. Mm. Bishop also asked about the morale at AEW, and Kelly told him, it's the same as has been reported. What I've always known. I don't know. I got this cough that won't go away. And it's trying to embarrass the hell out of me, but I just keep trying to read over it. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm not even going to edit that out. It's the same as has been reported. What I've always noticed was that there were a lot of people that weren't there, that weren't being used, that wanted to be used, that had creative ideas, but that weren't getting through. So there would be a conglined line of people outside Tony Con Tony's office waiting to get in to see him. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I don't ever remember a long line of wrestlers wanting to get into Vince McMahon. There were people to, to talk to. You could talk to Pat per Patterson and Jerry Briscoe. You could talk to Jack Lanzo. There were agents that were respected that had Vince ear that could take your message and say, hey, so and so is not happy with what's going on. Okay, that's a little different than WWE. I do hear they have agents that sometimes they talk to the talent. So, um, 
that does make sense. It is a little different. It is a little different. But um, Kevin Kelly is suing AEW. Um, don't know if this is going to be bad publicity. Don't know if AEW wants to be known for being sued. But um, they are being sued, supposedly. But um, that's the news for today. Life updates was off Juneteenth today. Was running errands tomorrow. A friend and her daughter, well, a friend, well, they're like family. Um, they're coming over for spaghetti night, so I'm cleaning. I went shopping today for the ingredients. They like my spaghetti, so I'm preparing for that. I hope everyone is well. Again, I'm preparing for my dinner. I'm making dinner for a, a family friend and her daughter, so that should be nice tomorrow. Hopefully, you guys are staying cool. It is hot here in Michigan, so... Hopefully you guys are staying cool, but somebody is ringing my doorbell. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.